this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. So today I'm finally going to decorate my beach inspired living room. It's gonna be very minimal. The items that I'm gonna put around, it's gonna be hardly a difference. Of course, to me it is a difference because it's not just uh, some small things that I put around here and there. Uh, some areas are obviously different and you're gonna see that, but uh, I ended up doing some cleaning. So for me, it was a good thing. So let's get to decorating. All right, everyone. So this is my living room before, you know, I didn't, I didn't clean it up. <laughs> I straightened it up a little bit. That's all I did. Got my laptop out. This is where I sit. Um, my mom will sit in that and my husband will sit over here. Uh, so I have these uh, bookshelves there in the back. Those used to be in my craft room. They're very plain. Uh, we thought about replacing them uh, or just maybe dressing these up a little bit. So that's some project for the future. So uh, in these, I'm not gonna remove too much from there, but I am gonna dust and I've got some items that I am gonna put in there. So that'll get done. And then of course I've got a throw to replace the one that I have here. And I have some pillow covers that I'm going to put on these uh, pillows here. Uh, here's the faux fireplace that I showed you last week, in the last video where I redid that. So that's already done. I just have to add something else in there. And then I'm gonna redo the, the top here. Um, also, I have a little niche in the living room right around sorry about that this right here a little niche where i have this cabinet that's all going to stay uh like that in a future video i do plan on redoing this i don't know if i want to remove the glass from the uh doors uh because there is a there's a there's some cracks there sometimes but um i'm planning on redoing that putting some new hardware because these are little wood handles and such so y'all give me your opinion on that uh, what you think I should do to it. But yeah, that'll be a future video. And then over here is the entry. So I'll be redoing some stuff here too. I'm gonna put, that's my foot massager. It's awesome. And I just keep there because it's so easy to find. So that might just stay there. But anyway, I'm gonna put some little items here and then on top of this as well and on the wall. So I'm gonna redo this here, this here, my pictures, my mirror, all that will stay. So I'm doing a very minimal kind of a makeover. It's not like, oh yeah, let's get everything out of here and then completely redo. So it's gonna be very, very minimal. And then over here I have this mirror. So I plan on putting something there, I'll probably remove that. And then over here I have this little wall thing that I made and I'm gonna put some little greenery bits in there. So yeah, all right, so. Here's what it looks like before. That'll be changing some. And then of course, that'll be changing some as well as over here. Okay, so I've got some items that I've been creating in the past video. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out, set them up so I can show you what I have and then where I'm gonna be putting them. And then I'm gonna show you also some new little items, little knickknacks that I purchased. I'll set them up on there as well and show you what I got. So let's get to that. All right, so I did a few videos uh, doing some items for the living room. This was one of them where I created this floral arrangement. And then I've got these uh, two candles that I decorated. I got this boho uh, wall hanging that I added some floral and a nice beautiful sand dollar. And I had also made this wreath right here with another sand dollar in it as well. And of course, you already saw that I put this together. So those are the previous videos. So now let me show you the items that I purchased. All right, so here I have the items that I've purchased. So let me show you what they are. I'm gonna start with this little box because I had already shown this and I did a floral arrangement. So I used some of the items from in here and of course i've got some extra shells that i didn't already that i hadn't purchased because i already had that i'm going to be using in combination with that uh, i had already shown you this in a quick little video this is a little tray it's like a little palm leaf very pretty i got this from dollar general and it was eight dollars i don't recall how much that was you guys i don't think it has a price let's see Oh, there it is, $9.99 at Big Lots. Okay, and then from Dollar General, I also purchased this really cute, like, little window thing. Um, this is like $12, I think. 
Oh, 15. Oh, okay. It was $15. It's really pretty. I'm all excited about that, where I'm going to put it, so I can't wait to show you. All right, so let's move on to, let's see. Uh, okay, well, I purchased this one at Ross. Let me show you this. It's a decorative throw, and I paid, what, $12.99 for that. There it is. That's what it looks like little sandy color and then from Amazon I ordered these uh, pillow covers that are 18 by 18 so I got a pair of the same design here with this you know beachy theme and then I got this one which is a nice soft plushy kind of a fabric this will go with the boho that I want <laughs> and then I've got this like a uh, striped very nice kind of canvasy type of fabric and uh, this will go with the country look that I want. So it'll com combine like a beach inspired, but it's also boho and a little bit of country in there. Here you can see the back of this one. It's just the front that's decorated like that. The only one that is two-sided were these. All right, so also from Amazon, I ordered a, a crocheted uh, runner. I'll be pulling this out so that you can see it, you know, obviously. But for now, it's just in the bag. Sorry. It's just in the bag for now. Okay. So, at Hobby Lobby, besides finding that larger ha wall hanging, I also grabbed this one. It's like a dream catcher. You guys, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put all this stuff yet. I'm just going to be going along. And I got these, I think they were either... 50 or 60 percent off i don't recall but there's a regular price the spring shop stuff at hobby lobby obviously has some sort of a sale price now i did get this little starfish it says 3.99 i mean i don't know what it was originally but i loved it and i said four bucks i'm gonna get it oh there it is 15.99 it says it's a wall decor i mean how does it go oh here it is where it's hanging from so i guess if i don't know where to put it i could always hang it on the wall all right so then we were at a store at home uh some time ago this is one of the first items that i purchased i wanted a tray for the coffee table and uh, besides you know that one that's an extra thing that i found so i don't know where i'm gonna put either one now and i got this at i think at, at home i paid uh 24.99 for that Oh, maybe I got it at Home Goods. That's what I'm thinking now. It's a beautiful wooden kind of bowl. It almost looks like a canoe. And that's kind of why I got it, because I thought, you know, kind of beachy vibe to that. And it's also kind of a boho. And it's, it's a made in Thailand. It's really pretty. All right, let's see. Okay, so I spotted that long wicker thing there. And I thought, this I was at uh, Ross. And I thought it was a big, long basket, like... You know, like these baskets, but longer. And I pulled it out because it was the very bottom shelf. And then I realized, oh, it's just this. Well, it's not a basket at all, which I was wanting. <laughs> uh, this was $8.99. And the price convinced me because this happens to be a wall shelf, you guys. Let's see. So here you can see the picture. It happens to be a wall shelf. So it's got these little bits where you can hang it from very nice very pretty but i'm not going to use it as a wall shelf i'm going to use it as a vase you guys so i'm going to put some little bits of little greenery in there that's going to go on top of the fireplace that definitely already has a home i love it for the price i thought it's going to work perfect <laughs> okay so then i think i don't remember yeah I think that's all. Well, anyway, this little blanket over here, I think I said I got it from Ross, that little throw. But then I did go to Burlington, and then I, that's where I ended up getting some more stuff. So let me move these items that are no longer. Uh, yeah, this is what I bought at Ross. Okay, so I got this. I feel like I got another one. Oh, yeah, I see it now. So I got this one, and it made me think of seaweed. <laughs> so it's like a succulent. Uh, it almost looks like the string of pearls. And I happen to have a little tiny pot. Uh, pretty much the same thing or maybe that's what it is um but i got this bigger one and i thought it'd be cute on the shelves and let that kind of dangle downward and it was on clearance for 10.39 you guys everything's super expensive uh i did go ahead and go for that price of 10.39 you, you guys are very frugal as you all know i say frugal instead of cheap but you know what 
I'm cheap, so I buy, try to buy things as, as cheap as I can. But 1039 sounded reasonable to me because, you know, it's got greenery and a very nice looking pot. It's a nice size. It's not like a little tiny little thing. So I went ahead and went for it. I also grabbed this one. I had seen in, in some magazine or, or not a magazine. I don't even look at magazines. Something in online <laughs> had to be something where I saw this little, or maybe it was on Amazon. But anyway, I saw this type of wispy little uh, grasses and I just loved it. But it, it was kind of expensive. But when I was at Burlington, I saw this and I said, hey, those are the little grasses that I've been wanting. This was $9.99, it was 10 bucks. And I thought, well, hello, I'm getting that one for $10. I'm getting that for $10 because again, I'm getting it in a vase. It's something small that'll probably fit in those shelves. Uh, so uh, I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know exactly where it's gonna go. It might go there, it might not, but you know, it's something small that I can fit there or maybe put somewhere else. And then I saw this cute little sign. It says, in this house we pray. And this was, five dollars also from Burlington and had to get it because uh, I love what it says plus it is kind of a country look so that'll go with that this one also faith hope and love these are just little things that I grab because you know they're fillers in some areas and this is some clearance for 379 there was no question about it I grabbed it if someday I decide that you know what I could use this for some other kind of type of a decor i can go ahead and use this little box for something but for now i love what it says i love the way it is so it's staying like that okay at burlington i also grabbed this little elephant i think it's a type yeah it looks like it has a little cork thing on the bottom this is 5.99 um i just love the color i had to get it this is a, a thing where you add um like a potpourri or something in there so it'll have a nice little scent so, okay, how much was that? Did I just say? Yeah, we just looked at that, $5.99. Okay, so I don't need any more candles, but what the heck, I saw this one. <laughs> and it says sea salt. It has a fresh, aquatic, cool scent. And I gave it a little sniff, and I liked it, but ma mainly it's because of the, the colors on it that'll go with the whole decor. And there's the price, $2.99. Look at this huge candle. If I ever want to light it up, it's awesome for only $2.99. All right, but I, I don't usually light them up unless we're gonna have a storm and everything goes out. But I use some old candles for that. But who knows, this might end up being an old candle someday or it will be, and I'll end up lighting it up. All right, so this is the last item I'm gonna show you. <laughs> this definitely is, you know, kind of a uh, sea uh, beach <laughs> themed item. I love the kind of iridescence that it had. So I thought it was really cute. I wanted something. I said, I gotta get some sort of a fish or I don't know, a seahorse. I don't know, maybe even a little mermaid. But like I said, I didn't want to make it too beachy, too themey. You know, I just wanted the the inspiration of, of the beach colors and such. But I just had to get the one item to just, you know, tie in with the shells and such. And that's what I got. So that's my little hole. So now I'm just gonna collect the items that I don't want in here put away some stuff, <laughs> that's part of the vacuum, put away things where they should go. And I have to dust those shelves over there, probably have to dust on top of here and in the uh, hallway. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna hang up some stuff and that'll be it, you guys. I'll show you the after. Alrighty, there we go. Placed a candle there and one on the other side. And here's the little arrangement that I created out of that wall shelf. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. And I just added a few little bits of some greener bushes, some leftovers that I've been using uh, in other arrangements, including that garland that I used on a macrame wall hanging. Uh, this is a long piece that was left over. This was going to go here originally anyway, the garland or maybe hanging off of here. But I decided that I just want to keep that picture. So I put it up on top of here. I love it because it looks like seaweed. Look at that. This is very minimal. I like it. It's not too high. We can, you know, see the TV doesn't block that. It kind of, you know, kind of camouflages the wire coming down. So I really like that. So let's go ahead and work our way down here. And there we go, you guys. Super easy. I just placed that, like wood looking frame window frame back there 
these little logs that I already had in there, just kind of place them like that, like a little fire is going to be going on. Obviously, we're not ever going to like that. It's not a real fireplace. And I had that arrangement there off to the side because I had this idea that I would put that frame right there. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so let's move on to the next area. All right, so then on this wall right here, I have placed this uh, macrame wall hanging. Here you can see that same seaweed looking piece. That's the one that I grabbed from that garland that is now on the mantle. It looks so pretty right there. Let's go on to the next area. All right, so now in this little hallway where I have this mirror, I have this little boat on here already. Just moved it to the center, added some little shelves on each side. Little starfish hanging off from there. I thought that would look really cute. Maybe I can go ahead and get a couple more items that I can hang on either side. And on this uh, little windmill here, with these little fabric pockets, I put some greenery, which is the way that I had it before. And then also that. That's a little seed pod from some dry florals that I had put in a, another wreath that was kind of falling apart. So I'm reusing not only the that, but I'm also reusing the leaves from, from that wreath. All right, so on this wall, above this um, cabinet here in the entry, I decided to hang this wreath. I think it looks really nice on there. Kept things kind of simple. I already had that uh, lantern there, my mom's picture, and then I put this little cute little plaque that says in this home we pray. You saw that in my little hole. So let me go ahead and show you what else I did to this entryway. All right, so with keeping things a bit simple, I uh, took off the flag that was hanging on my windmill over there. Picture's still the same, as you can see on the opposite wall, still the same. I did hang this little oars that I also had in a, on the wreath that uh, was falling apart. <laughs> so I put it right here next to the uh, mirror just to kind of balance off the whole wall. And on here, I decided to go ahead with that long wooden uh, tray and the reason that I did that is because I have this potpourri that I planned on putting in it. And I feel like that'll get kind of moved around on the coffee table too much. You know, every time we set something down to do something. So I thought this will go better here. And then um, it has a nice scent to it. So when you walk in, you can smell it. The bottom of the table remains the same. Like I said, I use that a lot. So it's just going to stay there. There's my little owl. Uh, that was actually my daughter-in-law's. Uh, but now it's there that's it's new home so that's it you guys keeping it simple a little worse there kind of keep that vibe i love it all right so for the bookshelves it's very minimal change i added that arrangement that i created way up at the very top uh that item that's there was on top of the faux fireplace before it just needs to be pushed in i just can't reach very well and those items i already had i just relocated them and there's the new little elephant and the faith, hope, and love uh, little framed art. The rest is the same. I just dusted all that area. Right off to the side here is where I decided to hang this dream catcher, just to kind of balance off that wall because that clock is hanging on a very nice sturdy uh, nail that's on a two by four, but it's not centered on the wall. So just to balance it off, I hung the dream catcher there. All right, so here we are on the other corner shelving and I put this one that I just purchased hanging off the corner with at least I had my husband do it for me and then uh the third here this area here I put that little arrangement there and that candle then I removed the there was a like a antler hanging there but or not hanging but resting there it's, it's up at the top now so some items just got moved around the rest of it is basically the same everything just got dusted really well and so that's what the shelves are looking like now all right, so on the couch, I went ahead and I covered the cushions that were there before. I removed the uh, covers that it had, and then I placed these on here. I think they look really nice. They do bring a little bit of color. Uh, I feel like I need more, more color. It's not enough, but for now, I like it. This is another pillow that I forgot to show you. I did buy this. It was like $7 on a clearance price. Here it is, $7.49, and I believe I got that at at Hobby Lobby. But that's what those covers are looking like on there, really nice. The throw blanket, I decided to put it on my chair here. Um, normally I have another blanket that I actually put on there so I can sit on it, because I'm on it all the time, and so I don't want it to get dirty. So I put another blanket on there, but for now, just for looks, 
that's where that throw blanket is going. And I put that pillow there. It says, let's stay home. Move that little thankful sign right there. I don't have anything on this other little table because my husband does keep that little extra lamp. The little extra lamp, he usually puts it on top of here and he sits there so it'll light up the book that he's reading. And then that little clip thing is something that I had on my a laptop table, but I put it there so he can put his drink there so he doesn't put it on the table. <laughs> and then it's just a blank camera that he needs to put outside. Okay, and on the coffee table, I have that runner that I told you that I got. I love it. It's so pretty. It hangs off the sides. I considered putting it on the hall table, uh, but I do like it the way it looks here. And then I just kept everything very minimal. I put that tray here, a few little little nuggets of things, and some shells in there. And of course, my little fishes. I think they look super cute. They were gonna go on the shelves in the corner, but I like it right there. And again, usually coffee tables, things get moved around and this might get moved around and I may end up putting that runner in that uh, hallway coffee, I mean, entry table. But for now, that's where it's gonna stay, you guys. So here is the living room again. Those shoes stay there. Those are my mom's. I need them there for her to easily put them on. Uh, so here's the full, full fireplace. There we go, walking over here. There's that beautiful wall hanging and the little mirror here with those items on it. And opposite of that is this little windmill that I made, little greenery bits in there. And again, here is this little spot here in the entry. And of course, the table where I'm saying, I'm thinking about putting the runner on here, but we'll see, I love that. And that's it, you guys. All right, everyone, that is it. I have completed uh, decorating my living room and I'm really happy with it. It is a very minimal difference, but I really, really love it. And I think my husband does too. Do you like it, honey? Yes, I do. There you go. That's the honey liking it. And that's all that matters. So I'm gonna give us a big old thumbs up because he did help me a little bit with this. And I hope that you too will give us a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below. And let me know what you thought of my minimal decor. That's my favorite part right there, the top of the float place. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell and choose all so that you can notify of all my videos as soon as I upload them. Y'all have a super day and as always, enjoy. Enjoy.